Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing uh, how to trade double top part three. If you have not watched part one, part two, go and watch it because it has a lot of information. So in this part three, I want us, I want to show you how to target take profit two. So you have to understand that any double top has four take profits and that's what we are gonna do. It has four take profits. So if I have a double top like this, if this is my double top, I will have four take profits. It has four take profits, guys. So the first take profit is the half. The second take profit is the neckline. The third take profit is the distance. You measure this distance of the first attempt to the neckline. Uh, you pull that uh, box down. So you get take profit, uh, take profit three and take profit four. So today in this part three, we are doing take profit two. Excuse, excuse me. We are doing take profit, uh, take profit uh, two. So we said for you to achieve take profit one, you need the strategy that called WBB if, it's, if the market is on the daily, weekly, or monthly, okay? So if the market is on the daily, weekly, or monthly, you use WBB to take profit one. So after take profit one, you cannot use WBB, no. So TP1, that's what you will use. And then after that, I'll show you in this video what to use, okay? So TP1, we use uh, WBB. So TP1, we use WBB. So in this video, we are doing now TP2. So if you want to do TP2, what will you use? TP2, where are you? So for TP2, we'll use something called break, break of half with a body. So break of half with a body, TP1, you use WBB, TP2 break of half is a body, meaning that if you want to target to TP2, the market should break like this with a red candle, like that. And then now you should be targeting to hit there, okay? So in this video, we are really focusing how to trade to TP. We are focusing how to trade to TP2. So in this case, we have our double top. And remember, we say double tops on an uptrend are easy to, uh, hard to trade. Double tops on a downtrend are hard to trade. So in this case, number one, anytime you want to identify, by the way, before I forget, this is my number. If you want any kind of a course, if you want uh, to buy a course, use this number. Avoid scammers who are impersonating to be me. Use this number if you want any of my courses. And my cost goes for thousand dollars, 10 profitable strategies. And if you want one strategies as a hundred dollars. So for the strategies, there are so many and they are profitable. And those strategies, I'm not teaching double top with double bottom. That's why I can teach double top with double bottoms here in public uh, on my YouTube. But when you come to my class, you will start uh, knowing about sell zone, buy zone, RBV, RWR. You will know a lot of things. And yeah, so if you're interested, use the number, WhatsApp me and buy the course, okay? So if, let me delete this. If this is your chart, if this is your chart, guys, if this is your chart, you will be having, uh, you first mark the first two candles and that's what I told you. You start with the current market, then you go left to see what could be there. And you can see we have a resistance here. That's how you, you identify your double top, okay? So we have identified our double top like that. And this double top has to be activated. It has to be activated, guys. So we have our double top there. And that double top, you can see it has been activated. Uh, and then we mark our neckline. And then we mark our half. So we want to see how do we target, how do we target up to the neckline? 
okay guys how do we target up to the neckline so this is a double top and it's a possible double top because you don't you never know what might happen so this is a possible double top like that and you have your half ready this is our half and then you have our neckline and you see our neckline guys we have our half very uh very settled and then we have our neckline and after our neckline we have um a structure that now we can use the pattern we can use the wbb strategy because this is on our daily before even you go to the to the wbb strategy we just need to identify if this double top is opt i told you there are things that you check is it opt so because this double top is on the daily we will go to the weekly to check is it opt you can see do not have that double top so this is the daily so now immediately we can start with the strategy wbb because even if you want to target to the neckline i first need to come to the half okay guys i have first to come to the half so i will target to the half then to the neckline so wbb is simple three entry signal Number one, wait for a red candle. Number two, check if it's bearish and girl. Number three, if not, WBB. I see. So let's wait for the next candle. So the next candle, we have a red candle here, and you have to make sure that red candle is an angle. In this case, it's not an angle. So you check if it's bearish angle. If not, you use the box. The box is what you are saying, wait, box break, WBB. So I'll take the box to the red candle like that. Can you see that? And then I will be waiting for the box to break. This is what now we call wait, box break. So here, when I say WBB, all I mean is wait, box, break. So that is the meaning of WBB, wait, box, break. So I will be waiting for the box to break. And you can see the box broke. And now we are targeting our first take profit is to the half. So you can imagine how many pips are those? We have 240 pips, guys. 240, 240. So 240 pips, you come and take your short position. Can you imagine entering a trade and it gives you 240? You must be lucky. 240 is a lot of pips. And let's see what really happened to the market. And you can see even before the first day we got around 98 pips, this strategy is very profitable. If at all you don't have a strategy, why don't you use this strategy? And we are waiting for the market to hit the take profit. You can see we have, uh, uh, it's called a what? We have um, a ranging. So we are waiting for it to hit 240 and you can see the market has hit 240 pips. All from a double top. That is a double top that is, um, that is what? That is uh, OPT. 240 guys. Oh my goodness. And majority, the reason why the market was not moving out of here is because uh, the market, people wanted this market like to, to trade a double bottom. So, so many buyers came in around this place. A majority of people were coming around this place. So something I have told you, anytime you want now to target from half to neckline, you need the market to break with a body like this. So we are hoping that this market, after it has activated half, 
it will break with the body. So majority of people will attempt to wait for the market to break. And immediately once the market breaks, they will enter sale. But here you have to be careful guys, before you enter this half, you see half has broken and the market now is telling you that we can continue selling up to the neckline. There's nothing that is tricky like selling half to the neckline. There's so much things you need to check. So, and not only checking half to be broken, you have to check other things. Number one, you have to check what if they will activate this double bottom. So I don't want to trade if they activate this double bottom. Let's see this double bottom if it is OPT. If it is not OPT on the weekly, they won't be coming for this. So let's go on the weekly and see. So you can see the double top, the double bottom on the weekly is visible. So they won't be coming for this double bottom because you can see it. So what they do, they might try to come to the next double bottom. You can see this double bottom. They might try to come to this double bottom. So when half is broken, a lot happens, guys. A lot happens. And by the time people I know, they know only when half is broken, they will go now to the to the neckline. But the market can activate to these zones and change position, okay? So if we go to the weekly, let's see if the second one we are seeing it. We are still seeing the second one. So it means they won't activate what you're seeing on the weekly because it's not OPT. So they may not activate the first one or the second one. So what we are trying to say is that what if in the middle here we have a double bottom on the four hour around here? So between this and this. So they may not, they may not even activate, uh, they may not even use the double bottom because understand we don't trade double bottom that is not OPT. These two double bottoms are very visible on the weekly. Okay. We don't trade double bottoms that are visible on the weekly when you're not daily. So the question is. What will they use? So if I go to four hour, I want to see, do I have a hidden double bottom on four hour? And there is a hidden double bottom. You can see there is a hidden double bottom. It seems like it won't make sense. It's a one candle. So you'll be observing how the market will behave around this area. So in short, what you can say is that even if half has broken, for me to enter this buy and to continue selling, they have to, they have to do what? They have to break all these. They break this double bottom, they break this, they break this. Because if I fail, they can activate the three of them. So, and that's what happened. Imagine someone who sold without having that in mind. Yes, half has broken, but it can still activate something else. So you have to be very, very careful, guys. Even if half has broken, you have to be very very careful okay you have to be very very careful so what happened even if half was broken you can see the market activated the double bottom on four hour and went up so that's where majority they don't know how to trade up to the neckline so in this case the market didn't come to the neckline and the reason why the market didn't come to the neckline it activated a pattern that is opt it was on four hour so if you checked this on four hour, you can see the market came here on four hour, activated a new pattern and using CRB, we got an entry. So by the time you're being given an entry at, I have seen something very funny with double tops. When they break half, when double tops or double bottoms break half, you have to be very, very careful. So that one did not, uh, the market did not, go to the to the to the half unlike uh audi chf unlike audi chf when the half was broken i'll show you with audi chf so you have to be very careful once half is broken what am i supposed to do next so this is audi chf this is audi chf so we had this double top. You can see this double top. This is Audi CHF. We have this double top. Let's see what happens to the half. So this was our half, you can see. 
and this is our neckline. So let's see what happens to the half. When half was broken, when half was broken, any possibility of the market having a double bottom, they came breaking it. You see this would have a double bottom here. So what they did, they came and broke that double bottom. They came and broke that double bottom. Can you see? So when your half is broken, the things that you need to check are anything that can activate a reversal pattern. Because if you're trading a double top, a reversal pattern is a double bottom. And the market, once it broke like that, it came and, and reached up to the neckline, you see? So at the end of the day, you have to be very careful. There are trades that they will do a double top and they will never reach the neckline. And that is the thing. You have to be very careful because patterns, they keep shifting, they keep shifting. So at the end of the day, you have to look at your pattern and say, what can make this market not reach a uh, neckline? Like here, we have this double top. Can you see this double top? We have this double top. And uh, let me show you when half was broken. So you have to do a lot of back testing. So when half was broken, this is half. So half broke them. When half broke, it was evidence enough that the market will still continue to go down. So the question is, what can make this market not go down? The only obstacle is this double bottom. So if you sell, you have to check how this double bottom is uh, being affected. So you can see the market uh, started to come down. So you will be checking how is it behaving around that double bottom. It has activated that double bottom. What if you get a bullish engulf? You just close that trade because bullish engulf means the market will buy. So you will use the same strategy to know how to exit and enter, move from selling to buying. Let's see after it activated. Did it give us a green candle? Yes, but it was not an engulf. You see, it was not an engulf. So the market did not give us an angle. So you can be in, but this double bottom is so viable. And eventually, see what happened? So we got this market having a double bottom, the double bottom you can see. So let's first check this double bottom because it has given us an entry. Is it OPT? So you go to the weekly time frame. Can you see on the weekly time frame, it's not OPT. So this double top, double bottom was not being given by daily. You can see the red candle here. So we had a double bottom here and a double bottom here. So if this double bottom was to give us an entry, we have to wait for a green candle to engulf on the daily. So you can imagine majority of people because they don't know about OPT. People don't know about OPT. So what they do, they saw this double bottom they saw the market has engulfed and they entered by. First, they got the money, yes. They got how many pips? 19 pips. But later, anytime you trade something that is not OPT, it will give you entry and eventually it will sell. So what made this, when half broke, as long as the double bottom being activated is not OPT, there's nothing to be worried about. Okay, guys, there's nothing to be worried about. So this double bottom was not open. That's the only way you can trade when half is broken. So you have to be sure when half is broken, has it activated a new OPT? If the double bottom that has been activated is a new OPT, just get out, okay? Yeah, so with that being said, we are still checking on the, Audi CHF has a double top of, on the daily current market. We are still checking it. So if you're watching this, we still have a current double top on the weekly. And you can see we were being afraid of how the news will turn on CHF. I don't think it has a lot of momentum, the CHF news, but we can still not judge. So that is our double top. And this double top is OPT. This is a current market, guys. This is a current market. This is OPT, guys. So if you want to start practicing double top OPT, Audi CHF is your pair. So keep practicing Audi CHF and eventually you will see. So if I go to the daily, 
if I go to the daily, I do not have a, and it's OPT. So this market can be, it's so powerful, guys. So powerful. So let's see what happens. You can see we have that. So that is our double, double top on Audi CHF. If this market was to sell, if you are following out, it will sell 150 pips. So I have left you with this trade. This is a current trade that has a double top. And we are hoping first it will go to a half. Why is that? Because we got WBB. Okay, guys, all the best. See you in the next one.